everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily, and today we're gonna be taking a close look at the downtown area of my Lego city. We have made a ton of progress and added quite a few new modulars since the last city updates a few months back, including the 2022 modular, the Boutique Hotel, right on the corner there. We've also made a ton of progress on the road plates and also just adding some more character to the Lego city with minifigure placement and vehicles. I am so excited to show you everything that's been done in the downtown area of our Lego city so far. And by the way, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with the progress going on in our Lego city. Now, let me give you a quick tour of everything that we have in our Lego city so far. So right front and center, we have the Palace Cinema. This is definitely one of my favorite modulars. Moving down, we have the bookstore, Birch Books, and we have separated this modular into two, so the blue part of it is behind the second city block now, in what has become the residential area. But then moving down one more, we have Assembly Square. I love the little pretzel shop, and it also leaves a lot of room in the middle there for minifigures to gather, which is of course very important for a LEGO city. I chose to have this set in the front of the first city block because I love the depth that it brings with the multiple buildings included. Moving down now, we have the 2022 modular, the Boutique Hotel. I made a video on this channel a few weeks ago placing this into my Lego city. However, I'm not thrilled with this location. As you can see on the left hand side, there's a huge gap where you can see a large portion of the wall from Assembly Square. I just don't think this looks that good and I didn't really notice it until after I published that video. So I do want to change around the location of this modular later on. Please, if you have any ideas or recommendations, let me know in the comments below. And then looking along the back side of this first city block, we have the corner garage right next to the detective's office. But then if you look down on the street level, there's something really interesting going on in the road plates. We've actually added a parking space here. And it seems like something very common that you would see in any normal city. So of course we wanted something similar in our Lego city. And I really like how this looks so far, but I'd love to add some more in the future. But then next to the detective's office is a new addition to the Lego city. This is the fire brigade modular. And I love this building. I think it looks beautiful. The brick details, the 1932 at the top, and then all of the details like the golden helmets on either side really bring the set to life. Even the three out front on the sidewalk just adds a lot to it, I think. I honestly didn't think I would be this excited to finally have a fire station in the Lego city, but this really looks like a landmark. This is a beautiful modular and it really stands out to me. I am so happy to finally have it included here. And then finally, the last set that we have way on the end there of our first city block is the brick bank. Looking along to the second city block now, right on the far end, we have the downtown diner. I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna stay here forever. I'm not thrilled with the location, but I put it there because it used to be in the front corner where the boutique hotel is now located. So it's kind of a temporary placement. However, I'm okay with the location there, depending on if we add some more road plates in the future, because at that point we'd probably have to move it somewhere else to make room for the road plates. And then right next to the diner is a little surprise. We actually just added a second bookstore to the Lego city. This was sent from LAN and LEGO to test out some new building methods, so I'll be making a video about that very soon, so stay tuned for that. I really like the location for this, and even though it is kind of weird to have two different bookstores in your LEGO city, I really like where it's located. I found that it's very difficult to find a modular that looks nice next to the Daily Bugle, just because of the alleyways on either side, but I really do like how the bookshop looks next to the Daily Bugle there. I feel like the birch tree hides a little bit of that extra space. And then with the police station next door, I think it makes a lot of sense having that right next to the Daily Bugle because of course with the police station there's probably a lot of crime in the area and they have to take care of the crime but then the Daily Bugle reports on all of the crime so I feel like they really do go hand in hand and they also look really nice next to each other. All of that being said though I do think that the boutique hotel would look really nice next to the police station modular so let me know in the comments what you think about that I'm considering giving it a try. Also before we move on please appreciate that the new Doctor Strange set is kind of taking over the city. I thought that was kind of fun. And then finally, at the end of the second city block, we have the Grand Emporium. This is definitely one of my favorite modulars. I love all of the details going on in here. It says shop right on the front, the flags, the billboard, like there's just so many details on this set. But then also right outside this set is this really nice tile pattern. We've decided to extend that tile pattern all along the front of the second city block in our Lego city, kind of alternating the colors, mostly just because these were the colors that we had in our collection already. But it also really worked out that they're very neutral colors, so I think it really fits. Let me know what you guys think. Also, we made sure to add a bunch of jumpers so that we would have tons of room to place our minifigs along there. 
Now, I feel like this whole section of the city looks very polished, very clean. However, when we move back here, I feel like we need to make some sort of construction area, some sort of construction site, just to show that it's still under construction, a work in progress. But anyways, here we have the Spring Lantern Festival, the pet shop, the rebrickable version of Sesame Street, which I actually really love. The set's kind of awkward on its own, so if you do have a Lego city, I very much recommend switching it over to the modular form. And then at the very end, we have our townhouse and residential area, with with the two other halves of the bookshop right next to each other and I like how those look there and then of course the other half from the pet shop. Looking back beyond the second city block now, let me show you what our plans are for the future and what I'm planning on doing with all of the Ninjago sets that we've recently acquired. So here we have Ninjago City. I am blown away by this. All of the details in this just look beautiful. This may become my favorite sets or maybe just my favorite set in the Lego City. And then right next to it is a Ninjago City Gardens or at least what's built of it so far. It is still very much a work in progress. I have most of it still to build clearly. But what I'm planning on doing with this area is to create a Ninjago City area within my Lego City or rather just right behind those two city blocks. And you'll notice that these are not built on mills whereas the rest of my city is built on the mills plates. I've done this on purpose, and honestly, there's no way that I'm gonna go back and retile all of this, so it's kind of there to stay at this point. But I wanted this Ninjago area to be a little bit lower down on the city because most of it is rivers surrounding the sets, there's boats going through, it's very much like water at the base level here. And so I thought it'd be kind of neat to have that leading into this blue base plate, the river next to it. And then hopefully on the other side of Ninjago city, we'll have an ocean area, so we'll have a lot more room for boats. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this river area? Do you have any suggestions for Ninjago City? Please let me know all of your thoughts. And then looking behind the Ninjago City area of our Lego City, you can see this giant green area and this river. We've worked really hard on the landscaping around it and especially the depth inside the river so that it doesn't just look like a giant blue area. We've added different color plates underneath the trans blue tiles to create this depth effect so it looks deeper in the middle, shallower on the edges, and we've used tan pieces as well as green and dark green pieces to create this effect. And then of course, because I'm a huge Scooby fan, we have the Mystery Mansion right behind there and we still have the pumpkin patch up from Halloween, but I feel like it kind of does make sense because of course, you know, Scooby-Doo is kind of spooky, Halloween, pumpkins, I feel like it all just kind of works. But I also think it would be kind of neat to change out that area through the seasons. And then moving over to the Disney World slash amusement park area of the Lego City. We have not touched this in a few months, but this will be a very big goal of ours in the new year, just to start adding a lot more to this area, work on the Walk of Fame, the downtown Disney area. And it's definitely just kind of sets on a table in this area right now, because we just haven't decided if we want to do mills yet, the landscaping, there's just so many decisions to be made before we make any more progress on this area. But then with Lego Super Mario World, I have been working really hard on this over the last few months, and I need Need to make a video on this eventually just showing you all of the functionality. We've added motors to create movement where the piranha plant will lift up and down. And really I love working on this Mario world because it finally gives me somewhere to display all of the different pieces from the Mario set. So I feel like this is a really good solution to combine Lego city building and mock building with the Mario line. And overall I'm very happy with where our Lego city is at right now. But of course there's still so much more to do and we have so many plans for the new year. We'll definitely be busy over the next few months especially with the Disney world, Lego Super Mario world, World, the river, Ninjago City. So I am very excited to keep working on this. That being said though, what are your ideas or suggestions on what we could be doing in our Lego City? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. And once again, if you're new to this channel and you enjoyed this video, please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below. We'll be working on our Lego City and pumping out a ton of videos on this over the next few months. So hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.